big conference room, presidential, uh, and uh, it's me and about three other people, and we're sitting down at that conference this room table. This is a dream we're told just that to wait he has. There. So we do, and we start talking about. Uh, I don't think this is going to be good. That's when two other people walk in, um, and they were clearly identified in the dream. However, I'm not sure anymore that that um, image was anything other than helping me relate to what I'm about to tell you. Um, so uh, the one guy, uh, when they open the door, these guys in the uniforms are in the hallway, and the one guy says, uh, him, him, and him, take him out. And they get up and look at me, and I'm the only one sitting at the table still, and uh, they go out, the guards close the doors, and I am now alone with these two people that are clearly in charge of something. They're not political. They're not in a political position. It didn't feel like, you know, it wasn't the president or anything like that. And, um, they are, uh, standing there. And then I hear three gunshots and they said, uh, yeah, yeah, that happened pretty quickly for them. However, you were going to get to know. And, um, and I, I said, oh, okay. And they said, because you really have no idea who you're dealing with. And that's when one of them reached under like a mission impossible mask and ripped off his face. And he was Satan. He was a demon. Okay. Horrifying. I wake up. This was so um, vivid that I didn't tell anyone for months and not even my wife. And it bothered me deeply. And I didn't know exactly what to do with that information. And, uh, about a year, year and a half went by and, um, it still was with me almost every day. Um, something you just don't forget. And uh, I get a call from a guy who is, you would know his name, big spiritual leader. And he calls me, he says, can you come to my, uh, can you come to my house? I, I need to talk to you. And I said, okay, sure, when? He said, as soon as possible. I said, this weekend, okay? He said, yeah. So I fly out, my wife and I stay overnight. We're going to see him the next morning and uh, that night I have the exact same dream and I wake up and I'm just in a panic and we get in the car. I don't tell my wife, we get in the car and she said, this is going to be nice. And I said, yeah, except I'm having a hard time breathing right now. And she said, why? And I said, because I had that dream again last night. Remember 10 years, no dreams, two dreams the same one, one, and then the same one about a year and a half later. And she said, you know, you should talk to him about that. And I said, no, 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 I, I, uh, uh, if the Lord wants me to delve into it, he'll, he'll, he'll bring it up. Uh, no, I, I, I don't want to talk about it. And so we go into the guy's house, we sit down, he's sitting on a couch and he sits down, he sits right on the edge of the couch and he leans into me. And he says, you know, sometimes the Lord talks to people. I said, uh-huh. And he said, um, and sometimes people like you, he'll, he'll speak in many different ways. Uh-huh. Including dreams or visions. And I said, right. And he said, and this is when he leaned in, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I said, uh-huh. And he said, do not dismiss that dream. Do not ever dismiss that. And I said, okay. 
he sat back and he said, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. That was it. I have made choices on this show based on that. You might find that ridiculous. Maybe you don't. I will never dismiss that. I'm sharing it with you today, what, 10 years later, because you must not dismiss what you're dealing with. We are not in a battle of politics. We're not. Politics and our whole culture has become evil. I started this hour talking about what this pedophilia stuff that is going around and how this but nobody nobody will even say anything that the, the designer of this uses the hashtag Moloch that is the god of child sacrifice this is what we're dealing with now I never thought that people and well, I wrote the book Eye of Moloch I never thought the average person who was involved in all of this stuff even believed in any of that. But they are being put into situations where some leaders, and I'm not talking politically in this particular case, I'm talking about that designer. I do believe they know what they're doing. And we are worshiping Moloch. We are m worshiping ball and they are demanding our children as a sacrifice phone charging slow